To commemorate the event, a flag raising ceremony was held at the four courts of the State House with members of the Diplomatic Corps, Ministers of State, members of the Council of State, some traditional rulers, and the general public in attendance. A statement from the chairperson of the African Union was read by a dean of the African Diplomatic Corps, His Excellency Mr. Pierre Sini Sanu of Burkina Faso. The statement said it is time for Africans to take stock of the happenings over the last 50 years and take pride in the successes of the African nation. The statement further stressed that in spite of the rich story and abundant natural resources, Africa still lacks behind in the provision of basic social amenities for its people. Nevertheless, we all recognize that Africa's aspiration for lasting peace and prosperity still remain to be realized and the vision of our founding father is yet to be fulfilled. We cannot deny the reality that internal problems related to bad governance together with the adverse external environment contributed to Africa's current political and socio-economic problems. In the 1960s, all those from West, Af Asia, from West East Asian countries were economically at part with newly independent African countries. It is disheartening that they still languish in poverty and underdevelopment, while the East Asian country managed to achieve economic miracle in a span of two or three decades. At this important juncture, it is therefore incumbent, incumbent up, uh, upon us to ask what really went wrong. In spite of our rich historic heritage and abundant natural resources, why have we not been able to transform our societies. We need to do a serious soul searching as we reflect our past, our past and try to shut out, uh, to shut our future in the bid to realize a peaceful, prosperous and a united Africa. Mr. Mark Owen Wayongo, the Minister of Defense, who was the special guest at the event said, after 50 years, Africa can boast of 54 independent and sovereign African states and that the painful and selfless sacrifices of the founding fathers that fought and died for the freedom and justice have not been in vain. The OAU has come and gone, but its historical legacies remain. We now have a brand new union, the African Union, a successor, a proactive union founded by Africans for Africans to find African solutions to African problems. Today, on the 50th anniversary of the OAU-AU, we can boast of 54 independent and sovereign African states. The painful and selfless sacrifices of our forefathers, our forebears, who toiled, fought, and died for freedom and justice have not been in vain. In the last two decades, Africa has managed to transform itself from an object of ridicule and scorn, dubbed a hopeless and basket case continent, to one of growing prosperity, stability, and respectability. After a long struggle, we have established various regional economic communities such as the Economic Community of West African States, the Common Market for East and Southern Africa, COMESA, the Southern African Development Community, SADEC, the Arab Maghreb Union, the East African Community, etc. The foundation has therefore been laid for the establishment of the African Economic Community.